hadn't seen it coming, but that was no surprise. It's hard to keep your eye on the ball through the bottom of a glass. I just hoped I could get to Fabiana and Giovanna in time. VIP lounge. Rich fools love a private exit. It was your typical trendy hellhole. A playground for the overpreened and undernourished. Sushi and house music and vodka. A place you don't get through the door unless you're rich, beautiful, or in this instance, it seemed, a heavily armed psychopath. If I was going to lose the boss's wife and sister-in-law, I might as well do it medicated. Poor bastard's name was Claudio. I found out later he was a pretty big shot soccer player for the Galatians, some nearly superstar just back from Europe. The usual, scored goals, scored girls. The only box he'd be getting into now was the one he'd be leaving in. I remembered there was a patio upstairs. <laughs> unfinished business and all I could think about was my unfinished scotch. Ah, don't shoot, por favor. You an American? Sure. Yeah, I'm from Steele, North Dakota, just outside of Bismarck. Anders Detling. This is some place, huh? They, they told me it was a little fresh, but I wasn't expecting things to be quite like this. No? Happy, healthy ex-cop? Give me a break. It looked loud and expensive enough to be Fabiana's. Her fashion sense didn't leave a whole lot of room for imagination, let alone food. The girl sure knew how to draw the eye, and maybe that was the problem. But at least I was heading in the right direction. Chega! Que porra você tá fazendo? Victor's political campaign was starting to come unstuck. Seemed the Broncos' luck was on the turn. If only that was the worst news they'd received that day. on Giovanna still being alive were getting worse by the second, and if Fabiana wasn't dead already, I was guessing pretty soon she'd start wishing she was. I was up for one god-awful performance review. It was Giovanna's necklace. I had to hope the rest of her was still intact. This was a mess. Where the hell was Passos? We were two failed cops failing miserably at being bodyguards. <laughs> 